welcome back to chapter number 2 called tsunami for grade 8 cbsc english before reading this chapter we must think about the nature nature is all about giving us life human life is considered the unquestionable master of this planet we have been responsible for the extinction of numerous animals and plants we have deforested the planet life never before we have polluted the planet to its core and we have fractured countless ecosystems we have been very good at taking ever more from nature but not giving anything back to it other than in pollutants nature is all about giving us life and resources to sustain that life all other animals have agreed to the basic rule and living at harmony with nature however human beings with a self imposed supremacy have exploited our planet earth thinking we will be spared by the nature but nature has never been forgetful nor is it sympathetic human beings have dug their own grave and it is mere matter of time we will fall right there unconscious of what is happening around in a fraction of a second so many incidents had happened then and there such an incident called tsunami had happened on december 26 on in the year 2004 in coastal india around 150000 people lost their lives but animals suffered very few casualties students we as human beings should learn to appreciate nature and we should understand that we are not the owners of the planet earth but we are renting the earth from our children so we should try to protect and save our earth for the future generation This lesson recounts a few stories of bravery and intelligence when the tsunami hit the Andaman Islands. Before moving on to the story, you should know what is a tsunami. Tsunami refers to a very large and powerful wave in the sea caused by some earthquake under the sea. One such calamity hit several countries on 2004, December 26. The worst affected parts were coastal parts of india the andaman and nicobar islands and thailand and we'll come to know how the people and animals behaved before during and after tsunami perhaps they had sensed the coming earthquake and they ran to safer high places the first story is about ignatius the manager of a cooperative society in kashal he was woken up by his wife at 6 a.m. The family rushed out of the house. When the earth stopped shaking, the sea started rising. The waves washed away his two children and lost, but his three other children were saved because they were with him. Sanjeev was a policeman. He managed to save himself, his wife and daughter from the waves. But soon he heard cries for help from the wife of John, the guest house cook. He jumped into the water to rescue her. but both were washed away 13 year old megna was carried away along with her parents and 77 other people she held on to a wooden door for 2 days 11 times the relief heli- helicopters flew over her but they couldn't spot her however she was brought to the shore at last by a wave almas jebit was a 10 year old student of a convent school in port blair Her family had gone to Mother Island to celebrate Christmas. Alma's father saw the sea waves receding in the morning. They understood that the waves would come back with force. He tried to take his family to Mother's place, but her father and grandfather were swept away by a giant wave. Her mother and aunts were washed away. Alma climbed onto a log of wood. She later found herself in a hospital. There is a story from Thailand. The Smith family was celebrating Christmas at a beach resort. The parents had two daughters. The water kept coming in on 26 December 2004, but little Smith sensed the danger ahead. She recalled the geography lesson that tsunami could be caused by quakes, volcanoes and landslides. She called her family to get out of the beach. Her parents went up to the third floor of the hotel and survived. Thus, her geography lesson saved their lives. While humans lost their lives, wild and domestic animals sensed 
the danger in time elephants ran for higher ground and the dogs birds and zoo animals looked for safer places perhaps animals possess a sixth sense they feel the tremor long before humans realize so not ma- not many animals were reported dead at chiyala national park in sri lanka no dead bodies of animals were found while 60 visitors were washed away it seems either animal possess a sixth sense and know when the earth is going to shake or have more accurate hearing power students from this lesson we learned about a natural calamity causing huge destruction and loss of life and property we should realize the importance of doing whatever possible to save human and animal life like these characters we have seen one should show acts of courage care and compassion in the bitter struggle of survival and rehabilitation children some questions and answers are given below for your reference note it down in your class work and learn those things thank you children see you soon